Hello everyone, from time to time, I'm gonna post videos like this one where I share my thoughts, opinions, praise, or critiques of things going on in Fallout 76 and its community. I don't wanna spend a ton of time on them, hence the five minute moniker, but they're often going to be things that I feel like I just need to say. Today, I wanna to talk about PVP and the newly minted efforts to revive the now defunct survival mode. In recent weeks, talk about PvP has increased within the Fallout 76 community. As is too often the case, generalizations, stereotypes, and assumptions are thrown around, and these conversations rarely yield productive ideas. When it comes to PvP or avoiding PvP, there always seems to be one more thing that needs to be done to appease one more person. This is what happens when you try to force both methods of play into a single mode. Ultimately, efforts to include something for everyone end up pleasing no one. As someone who's played Fallout 76 since the beta, I've seen the highs and lows of PvP in this game. Despite being primarily a PvE-focused player, I've played survival mode, I play Nuclear Winter, and I've had my share of fun with murdering my fellow Vault Dwellers in Adventure Mode as well. Contrary to popular opinion, which assumes everyone is either purely in one camp or the other, I think most players are more in line with me. We can all enjoy both types of gameplay, but ultimately, we want to be in control of when that happens. Nuclear Winter offers a great way to engage in competitive, balanced PvP, while also separating ourselves from our Adventure Mode characters. But that doesn't tick every box. A lot of players want to roam the whole map and put their best gear and builds up against other players' best gear and builds. Those things aren't possible in a condensed competitive mode like Nuclear Winter, and that's why so many people still like to PvP in Adventure Mode. And yes, there are a lot of people who like PvP in Adventure Mode in its current form. But Adventure Mode doesn't allow all of those things either. It's no secret that most players, or at least most of the time we want to spend, prefer PvE content. As such, elements of PvP are incrementally being removed from the game in favor of the more popular playstyle. We saw this with recent notable changes in Patch 20. This isn't unreasonable, but it is alienating the players who are into PvP and acts as a disincentive for newer players to even try it. So how do we fix it? How do we make everybody happy, or at least most of everybody? Separation is the simple solution to this problem, and it's been staring us in the face from the start. Bethesda attempted it with the original survival mode, but didn't quite commit. The mode still tried too hard to please too many people and ultimately didn't draw enough PvP players consistently into it. Instead, it drew in PvE players who wanted XP bonuses and guaranteed legendary weapon rewards. It got too cute for its own good and failed as a result. It wasn't uncommon to see just a single survival server running on any given platform at a time. It was undeniably unpopular. While in the long run, I'd love to see a better implementation of survival mode with dedicated characters, seasonal resets, no legendary effects and a dedication to PvP combat, which is what a lot of fans are asking for, that's not a realistic way to solve this problem quickly. A realistic solution is one that can be done with as little work as possible, while appeasing as many players as possible. To that end, I suggest a new mode, Mayhem Mode. Mayhem Mode would be exactly like Adventure Mode, identical, with one difference. PvP restrictions are turned off. No bonus XP, no special rewards, no restrictive or inconvenient mechanics, just adventure mode with the safety off. In turn, in order for it to work, in order to drive everyone looking for PvP to that mode, you have to completely remove PvP from adventure mode. Wanna farm for legendaries, build camps, run events cooperatively, go to adventure mode. Wanna murder everyone you see and steal the meager piles of garbage in their pockets? go to Mayhem Mode. Make workshops available in Mayhem Mode. They're already intended to be PvP zones, but disable them in Adventure Mode, while leaving the door open to expanded faction-based PvE content around them in the future. Additionally, make Mayhem Mode a toggle setting for private worlds. This would open the door for players to create battle arenas, 
more immersive roleplay servers, and any number of other things. It would also allow players to have a path to farm workshops in peace if that's what they want. That's how most players are doing that now anyway. This separation would let PvP enthusiasts load into worlds filled with other people who actually want to PvP, instead of spending hours waiting at workshops, poking at random players on the map, hoping to maybe get a fight every few hours. It would also allow PvE-focused players to play without worrying about being disrupted. Ultimately, this is a stopgap solution. It's something that would require very little investment in dev time, which is the only realistic way something like this gets done. Put it up and leave it alone. If it draws a big enough crowd to warrant future development, great. If not, at least it's a way for the people who enjoy PvP as it is to continue enjoying it. Probably more so than they did before because they'll actually have people to play against. And those are my thoughts. What are yours? Do you like PvP in Adventure Mode in Fallout 76? Would you jump into a mode like this? Tell me your thoughts in the comments. As always, be sure to like and subscribe, and until next time, I'm Fisty McRib.